Hey y'all, it's Aja Mornay and I'm coming to you all with this beautiful bob. Oh my gosh, y'all, look at this. So I got this blonde bob from Elwigs.com and their slogan is meeting the most beautiful self. I don't know what that means, but. So this hair color was originally 1B down to 30. Kind of like synthetic wigs be like 1B 30, 1B 27, this and third. But I dyed it, or I didn't dye it, I toned it to an ashy blonde. I don't wanna say it's full out ash blonde, but it definitely changed. It used to be way more yellowy. And I loved it on me, but it just didn't, something wasn't clicking with it. And I love this color on me, y'all. Like, so what I did was I just took one of these toners. It's a permanent liquid hair toner by Wella Color Charm. And it is the lightest ash blonde in T18. I've seen this all over YouTube. I use T18 when I want to cancel out like any orangey, yellowy tones in the hair and make it more like on the cooler side. For example, you know when you're editing your pictures and there's like that cool and then there's that warm tone. When it's warm it gets kind of darker and when it's cool it gets a little bit lighter and it cancels out like all those harsh colors so it's easier to dye the hair. That's pretty much what I did to this so if I were to go over with dye it would show up better with it being toned than before it being toned. So, so with this you have to use one part this bottle and then two parts developer. So what I did was I used the Wella 20 volume developer 2 along with this and I mixed it up and did this. I don't have it with me, it's in the kitchen, but after I finished toning the hair, I used the Shimmer Lights conditioner. I don't have the Shimmer Lights shampoo just because I don't, but I'm like, I might as well just get the conditioner because I co-wash my hair a lot, so it's like, why use a shampoo because I can use any of my other shampoo. <laughs> so I put the conditioner on here and I let it sit for about 20 minutes. I want to let the toner sit for about 35, 40 minutes. So this wig is 14 inches and it's 180% density. It was super easy to flat iron. It got straight. The ends bumped just high. One of them too. I like went down like this. Oh, wait, here's my flat iron right here. It's not hot. <laughs> So when I was flat ironing, I went down, down, down straight, and then when I got to the ends, I just curved it a little bit, and then it got this little, a little curvature. I didn't want it bone straight. I wanted a little bit of oomph to it, so. Now the only con I have about this wig is that there was tons of flyaways on the top. I don't know what it is with these companies and the flyaways where the lace is, but y'all need to get it together. Like, I've had flyaways come with my closure, like from my last video, like, come on y'all, get I usually just put mousse down like over it and then I'll lay it but I'm like I don't got time for that so I just use my pump it up spray this is my first time using it and it's actually so good like my hair isn't that hard I sprayed it and it looked hard and it was extremely shiny but I just took my comb and brushed it down while it was still wet and this is how the part is looking now but yeah guys this is the end of this video if you don't have any blonde hair at home i suggest you get some and if you don't like the color of the blonde don't get discouraged because you can always wet tone it <laughs> and they have different color toners too like you don't have to do like an ashier blonde like i did um you can do a lighter blonde with the toners you can do a little darker blonde like a dirty blonde that's kind of what this is but i'm still gonna say it's ashier because it did get way ashier than what i had it before but yeah, that is all, y'all. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will talk to y'all in my next one. Bye!